What's up guys, just want to do a video on my 2004.5 GMC Sierra LOI Duramax truck. Start with the exterior, it's extremely clean truck from North Carolina, never seen any winters up here in Buffalo. So, no chips or nothing. BMF 20 by 10 wheels, Baja ATZ Mickey Thompsons. These are two 85-55-20s, lots of tread left, pretty fresh. You can see I got husky mud flaps on it all the way around. Very clean, no chips, no dings, very clean, straight body. It's got spider LED taillights in it. Easy down drop gate, fifth wheel hitch, 50 gallon toolbox, fuel tank combo. There's an onboard air compressor. Rhino liner. Again, no chips. Clean, straight body. He's got the towing mirrors, expanding mirrors that still work. Debadge a little bit there. BMF wheels again. Got the spider LED fog lamps. Still got the stock headlights, but I got a brighter bulb in there. It's got Anzo or Spider, I believe, clear marker lights. And for the steering and suspension, Cognito upper control arms, Bilstein 5100s in the front. This has also got the rear parts, heavy duty tie rods. Cognito brace kit for the steering, which you probably can't see. It's got zone keys in it. Slightly cranked up to clear these tires. This is a 20 by 10 wheel with a negative 19 offset. It'll just touch there when you bump it, the full rub. Just touch. The only two dents in this truck are right here. One little one there, one little one there. Would have had them popped out, but you can't get to them from the back. This truck's extremely clean. You can see there's no rust anywhere in the rocker panels or the doors. Rocker panels have been chip guarded. This truck gets spray oiled every year, even though I don't drive it in the winter. And you can see, extremely clean. I'm gonna go with the interior. It's got a subwoofer in it. JL Audio 10 inch, also with a JL matching amp underneath the seat there, still retains the stock. Jack. It's got some audio box head unit or um, DVD players, but they do not work currently. They didn't work when I got the truck and never needed them. And with the interior, this has got the heated seats, leather obviously with the SLT option that still work. I just actually changed the driver's side. Painted dash to match. It's got a Pioneer 4300 head unit onboard air control for the air compressor or for the airbags there. It's got a remote start. Thousand miles. Got a US Speedo dash in it. There's also a backup camera in this. Put in reverse. Comes on. You know, as far as the good stuff goes. Pop the hood. Let's see it's an LOI Duramax. It did. Head gaskets and studs a year ago. I also put LML cylinder heads on it. I had one of the LOI heads cracked, so I changed them both. Those were freshened up, gone through. Garrett 3794 Turbo Stage 2 from Danville. DHD Wybridge intake combo kit, full EGR delete, PCV reroute. MBR 
LP four inch down pipe, LBZ, or I'm sorry, LB7 up pipe for the passenger side. That's a new filter head with a cat adapter on it. It was on it from day one. It's got LBZ intake, obviously, with a custom intake there. Fresh batteries, new coolant bottle. It's got a fuel pressure regulator was changed and also the port of fuel rails and the pressure relief valve if it's been plugged. Everything I ever did to this truck is wrote down here in this Bible. I got all kinds of stuff written down here. This has tuning from Duramax tuner. It's their stock transmission tune. It has an edge gauge in there. I don't use it for any tuning. I just use it for gauge. DSP5 switch is right there. This is also the fun switch here. Train horns, extremely loud. You can see the airbag control here, independent from side to side. This is an extremely clean truck, guys. I'm only asking a lot of money for it, but it is what it is. Four inch, or five inch exhaust from Husker Diesel, straight through. Six inch tip on that stainless one. Make sure that underneath it's pretty clean. No rust at all, ever. Stock transmission, fluids change regularly. Thanks, guys.